financial mass and the chiral molecules. Uh, financial mass uh, uh, stereo stereo isomers that are non superposable mirror images of each other. So this is how we can define uh, inertial mass. Uh, inertial mass occur only with molecules that have that are chiral. Inertial mass occur only with molecules that are chiral. Then a chiral molecule, a chiral molecule uh, is one, a chiral molecule or object is one that is not superposable on its mirror image. So this is how we can define uh, a chiral um, molecule. For example, uh, the mirror image of your left hand is the right hand and the two are non super superposable so this uh, the mirror image of the left hand and the right hand uh, uh, that's an example of a chiral molecule or object most shoes most shoes are chiral uh, Whereas most socks are a chiral. So now the difference that is there between a chiral molecule and a chiral is that for a chiral molecule, uh, a chiral molecule is superposable. Is superposable. on its uh, mirror image. So example of a chiral molecule uh, that we may look at uh, is two bromo. So let's look at two bromo butane. So this is 2-bromobutane, so we can say uh, 1. So let's get the mirror image for this. We can have something like this. So when model 1 is held uh, before a mirror, uh, model 2 is uh, is the same. So the two are non super superposable. So the image and the, the object and its image are non super superposable. So this is a pair. This is a pair of uh, uh, inertial mass. So when we analyze here, uh, there's this uh, carbon atom, the carbon atom two is called the chiroid chiroid center the chiroid center which is uh, designated by an uh, asterisk for a chiroid center chiroid center this is a tetrahedral tetrahedral uh, carbon atom bonded 
bonded to four different four different groups so for it to qualify to be called a chirolic center the carbon atom must be bonded to four different uh, groups uh, for example uh, carbon 2 in this case uh, is bonded to so our carbon 2 is bonded to there is bromine so C2 carbon 2 is bonded to bromine bromine atom bromine atom the hydrogen hydrogen atom then we have the methyl we have the methyl group the methyl group and the ethyl group so the four groups must be different for it to qualify to be called a chirality center so for an achylo molecule uh, the object uh, and its uh, uh, mirror image are uh, superposable. So we shall look at um, uh, one example or two. We see uh, uh, how the achiral molecule uh, will be represented. So we'll consider, let's consider 1,2 dibromoethene. So we'll consider both cis and, uh, and trans. So we have the, the trans, this is the cis. Cis 1,2 dibromoethene. The mirror image for the cis isomer is this then now let's look at the trans so this is trans 1,2 dibromoethene the mirror image So try rotating one, uh, let's try to rotate uh, one uh, by 180. So if we rotate uh, model one, uh, let's say this is our one, this is our two. If model two is rotated by 180, you, you see that it, will, it is one and the same uh, 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 molecule. So this applies also for the trans. Try rotating one, you see that the two are identical or they are the same so uh, this is uh, uh, the cis uh, cis and the trans isomers are a chiral. so these are examples of a chiral, uh, molecules they are non-super